Hello Aquarius, thank you for tuning into your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Modern Spellcasters Tarot by Melanie Marquis, illustrated by Scott Murphy. For the support of Oracle Cards, I'm using the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Alright, I've already shuffled, let's go ahead and get into it. Face down though. All right, let's find out. You got a lot of cards here. <laughs> You've got like seven in your action line, and I feel like um, what's going on here? Is this hitting a point? Okay, so this is what you're coming into. All right. I don't. Let's. We're gonna start with the first card over here because I feel like your if your your overall energy doesn't really. I don't feel like it really is one. I feel like you're kind of having to handle it differently as you go forward. You're coming into it with the Ace of Wands though, so there's a very strong active start. Like you're actually physically getting into something. You're getting into it. Now, like this is the start of the situation. And I'm noticing it goes into the three of the three of um, wands here. So I feel like it's almost like you're starting it, and then you're like, how do I say this? It's like you're getting things together, and then you're setting it into motion. Like, the ace is actually like pulling it together. It's almost like, all right, this is what I'm going to do. I need this supply. I need that supply. Like, like you, you have it going. And then the three is actually setting it off. Like, how do I, I don't know if I'm saying this right. I do feel like this is kind of, this energy seems to be working together. Like, it's like everything coming together and setting it right off. It's like, I don't feel like I'm saying this right. You're starting it. It's almost like you're starting a business and you're opening the doors like the very next day, if that makes sense. I think that's a better way to say it. So you're like, you're saying, I'm going to start a business, I'm going to own a store, and the next day you open your doors. Like, it's that quick. Like, things are going forward very fast. But I feel like every, things were already set in place. So it's not like you're just making the decision to, like, do it in the sense of, like, coming around to, like, oh, I think I'd like to. You've been thinking about it. Everything's already in place, and you're making the decision, well, it's already there. I'm going to do it, and then the next day you open doors. Okay. That's that's like some that's <laughs> I'm using the word heavy a lot lately. That's some heavy energy because I feel like everything's already in place, but it's kind of like you're making that decision. You know what? I'm gonna do it, and the next day you do it because everything's already in place, and you're just like, might as well just do it. Good, good. All right. Now, you go into it really quick. Everything is in place, so you just go right into it really quick. That's when you get the two of pentacles. That's where you have to balance it through. Now, the other side of this situation has a face-down card. You're balancing things out. You're trying to sort it out. Because even though everything was in place, so you could open your doors the very next day, and you did, which is great, there's things you have to sort out. Because even though that was all there, you're just. I feel like this is a situation, for example, if it's the store opening, it would be like you haven't really run a store before. And you're thinking, well, it'll just sort itself out. So you're kind of sorting it out. That's what you're doing. Like, oh, okay, that, I know that, you know, I got to put the money in the bank that I get. I have to make sure I restock things that are sold. I have to see where I got to get that from. That's fine. You can make sure that, you know, things are cleaned up. Keep the store clean. Yeah, we got to have somebody do maintenance. Okay, somebody has to keep control of stock. So I know that when things are out, I need to replenish them. It's like you're sorting that type of detail out at this point. It's like, yeah, these things have to be done, but, you know, I, I can go with it. I can learn as I go. I'll be fine. Good? Good. The face down card. You're getting involved in a situation that's going to last. Like, this, you're, this is a whole new phase for you. When this is face down, I don't think you realize that this is a new way of life for you. Like, you're, you went into this. I don't think you're opposed to that idea. 
But I don't think you're realizing how this is taking hold of your life because things are clicking in. This is this one right here is face down. You don't realize this is clicking in. Action is here. Things are going well. Things are going really well. Um, so I feel like this is going into coming into your life in the sense of like this is a whole new way of life for you. That's what I'm seeing. But I don't feel like you were coming into it like that was going to happen or it wasn't going to. I don't feel like that really was a, a factor in your thought process. If it did, that's great. But you, I don't think you expected it to kick off the way it is. Because I feel like you're, you're doing really well. And especially when you're, you're catching things, you're learning it as you go. I don't feel like this is overly stressful. But you're, it seems like at the time where you're going through and you know, making sure like, oh, this has to get taken care of. Oh, yeah, I got to do that. Yep, got to make sure this is okay. I'll do that. While you're doing all those things, this your business, for example, if you're using that analogy, is going really well. Whatever you're getting involved with, to be honest with you, however this is hitting for you, it's going really well. But I feel like you're caught up in these details. You don't realize how well it really is going. Good? Good. Now, you got the fool in the action line next, in your seven card action line. <laughs> this is card number three. Um, <clears throat> everything, like, everything's coming together very well. Now, there's not any problems with this. You're very happy, very enthusiastic. I'm just checking. Like, is there anything with the fool we got to be careful of? I'm feeling you're enjoying this. The situation is really going a lot better than expected is what I'm getting here. Because you notice you had the ace is usually a start. And then the fool is also known as a start on its own. I'm getting you're really enjoying this and you're starting to see how much you really do enjoy this. I feel like the joy here, like one of the reasons like you weren't really sure until you finally made the decision if you were going to actually open doors then you did it the next day is because you weren't really sure how much you were going to actually like this. It seemed like there was potential to do that, but you weren't really, you're like, eh, I don't know. You're enjoying this a lot more than you expected. Yeah? And there's a lot of social interaction that's, I feel like this is what's coming through here. Okay. Through this success, whatever you're getting involved with here, and I know I'm using a business analogy, but whatever it is you're getting involved in that you just decided to do, the next day you jumped right in both feet. It is very successful. You're figuring it out as you're going. You're enjoying it a lot more than you expected, but you're also making a lot more of social connection here. And I feel like there's a lot of more there's a lot more social interaction you'd like to be doing here. But I'm getting like there's a balance here with like what has to be done. Like this seems to be also still in play. There's still a balance like what you have to do. You're still sorting out some pieces. You're still learning some pieces um, through the school of hard knocks, I'd like to say. But it's kind of like balancing out. There's things you have to take care of, but there's a lot of social interaction you'd like to do. This is going back and forth. This this is going to improve as it goes. Those things are going to kind of iron out. The more you get used to your business, the more you get it under control and know what has to be done, the more you're getting... I'm just using the business as an analogy, I know. Uh, but whatever it is, the situation is, the, the more used to it you get to it, the easier it's going to be. You're going to be able to balance the work part with the fun part a lot easier. And I feel like more fun is going to be filtered in as time goes on because I feel like you're really going to enjoy this. And it's going to kind of like... It's going to be kind of like a quasi work fun thing, if that makes sense. It's like going to be like, it's definitely there's going to be some work aspects, but you're going to enjoy it is what I'm getting. Good? Good. Now, they're also saying here, because this is, the magician is next in your action line, and this, it's up to you, is connecting the magician with the, the situation will improve. It doesn't have to be burdensome. You can... How do I put this? With all your responsibilities, you can balance that out to enjoy the social. You don't have to make it all work. Like, cause I'm getting this feeling like there's like a list of things that have to be done. And you might, I feel like you might start at this list and be like, I have to get through all these things and I can't, I can't step away. They all have to be finished. <clears throat> the thing is with this situation you're involved in, which I'm going to use the business analogy again, you get through the first three, you get another one at the bottom you add to the list. 
you get through another four, then five more show up. <laughs> like, the, I think the point is the list isn't going to go away. Um, it's just learning how to maneuver it and getting used to it. So they're saying you can definitely filter in um, more fun and you can prioritize the things and like, I feel like you, there's ways you can fold in like, for example, I'm going to use the business thing again. For example, if you're waiting for customers and you got a minute, you can start doing some books while you're waiting for customers. Um, like you, there's, there's ways you could work this out to give yourself more free time, but they're saying, don't make it so that you just like, you're so hell bent on getting the list done that you just spend all the time working, 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 working. Cause they're saying the list is never going to stop. There's always going to be more things. Make sure you fold in the, those fun times, the good times and delegate things out if possible, if possible, depending on what you're doing, um, to make sure that you can free yourself up to enjoy life. Cause you need to enjoy life. Because you're doing a lot, but make sure you enjoy life while you're doing it. That's the up to you here. That's saying the magician says, you have control here. How much fun do you want to have? You could, This is still going to work out. Just make sure you put in that element of joy for yourself because it's really important here. If you don't, you could end up burning yourself out. And you don't want to burn yourself out of a situation that you really do like. That's, that's a thing. Because I've seen people do that. They get involved in something they very much like. But it overwhelms them. And they something they usually love, they end up dreading because they've made the burden so heavy. And they've just made these demands on themselves so heavy. you got to make sure you put in that joy or you're going to burn yourself out is what they're warning you. They're like, enjoy this. This is good for you. You should have this. If you fold in the joy, you'd be good. You'd be fine. The magician says, do that. The seven of pentacles after that, I'm feeling like you're going to establish... A routine here and you know what you have to do you know how to get things done like you can put it together in a very comfortable way but like whatever you do here with the magician you're going to establish a pattern and you're going to keep going like this for a while I'm just bit my tongue. you're going to go like this for a while so i don't feel like the majority of you are going to do this but if you for, ex for example decide that you have to keep going at that list and you can't stop till that list is done you're going to be working at list forever, and you're just going to keep doing that for a good while because that's what you're creating here. You're going to bring it over here. Um, but if you fold in the joy, you're going to have a pattern that you're going to successfully enjoy this situation, and you're going to be able to balance it out and keep it going. This is in your side. It does look like the majority of you are definitely going to find a way to make this really... Because whatever the situation is, you really do like it a lot more than I feel like you expected. And if you get that... Folding that in, and I feel like the most of you are, it's going to be a really good situation. You're going to be very, very happy with this. You've got the Queen of Pentacles going on from the Seven of Pentacles, which I feel like that's saying that you are definitely happy with what you've established and how you've established it, and you're locking it in how you do it. You're getting a process in play. This gets done this day. I feel like a lot of you are doing this day schedule thing. Like on Tuesdays, I do these things. On Wednesdays, I do these things. You know what I mean? So you're creating sublists for that day, and as long as that's done for that day, you can do what you want afterwards. I feel like a lot of you are setting it up that way, and you're getting things going forward very, very successfully in a very good way that you're very happy with. I apologize for using that business analogy so much. Uh, it just seems to flow easily, the easiest, but there's definitely other situations that will apply here. Now, I'm getting at the end here the High Priestess, which to me, this is a very positive card. This is somebody who sees a situation for the good, for the bad, and keeps like keeps record of what's working and what's not, and makes sure that the plan goes forward in a very fair way. So I'm looking at this part, like, you know what has to be taken care of. If, for example, say you're going along at this point and you're like, you know what, I could be doing better at this and that but I don't want to give up this and the other thing. Like, you're going to evaluate. I feel like this is kind of like the high priestess to me, sometimes she's almost like an auditor, like a spiritual auditor. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing that I feel is a good thing? What am I doing that I feel is a bad thing? And, like, what? A, like do I want to keep going the way I am? Because um, it's almost like looking at what's holding you back. Like, what are you doing that's not working for you? 
that you need to change and like what do you have to give up to change it that type of thing so i feel like this is kind of like the audit situation and if this happens eh the way this is going i feel like after you've established this this might be a while out but i do feel like they're saying like make sure you hit this point i feel like this is card is saying make sure that you like for example if maybe new year's is a thing for you Put it on your calendar, like, you know, review the business. How is the business doing? Just because I'm using the business to add nauseam, I apologize. But, like, whatever the situation is, maybe on New Year's you want to put on your calendar, like, review the situation. What do you like? What do you not like? What could you do better? What are you comfortable with? They're saying, I feel like this card is saying, make sure you review it so that way you're you're making sure that you're happy and things are on track the way you want them to be. Um, good. I feel like that's a very good card. I feel, like, but I feel like it's kind of like saying, just make sure you re you review it for what what it is, to make sure you continue on this lane of success and you stay, in that lane of success. Good, good. All right, I'm gonna wrap that up there. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you would like a reading from me, shoot me an email, James for Astral at gmail.com. James the number four Astral at gmail.com. Thank you.